Hi, uh, Dick Rochford here. 574 Mike Alpha. A G1000 equipped NXI version of the M500. And I wanted to describe to you the way that we're going to comply with a crossing restriction, which we've just been given. Patroller called us and asked us to cross Sargo at maintain 14000. So in order to comply with that, uh, at least in this particular case, what we want to do is not start down yet because the rate of descent required to get to Sargo is only like 500 or so feet per minute, now 600. And we want to go down at 1,000 feet per minute, which is what we've built into the active VNAV box. So to comply with that, we set 14,000 on the pre-select and we arm the VNAV. The understanding is, is that when we get uh, to the 1,000 foot per minute descent rate, Betty will uh, tell us vertical track. At which point, if the light is not blinking yet, which it is not, it, uh, it will start down. We see that the V path, VPTH, is armed. So now we just simply wait until that top of descent comes along. And in fact, just a couple of minutes away, we have the track vector set at two minutes. So there's the top of the descent, just a little over two minutes away. Vertical track. All right, so Betty has spoken. And now the vertical scale is present and the carrot is descending much like the uh, the ball at Times Square on New Year's Eve. Vertical path is flashing. That's not good. We want to reactivate that. We do so by pressing the VNAV button again to reactivate that. November 5, Tango Bravo, the Lexington altimeter 3024. 3024, 35, Tango Bravo. So the key feature is to set in the altitude you want it to send to, verify the V-path is armed, and then it's set up the way you want it set up. As this VS required climbs to the target VS, Garmin will start down. And now the V-path has turned green. Down we go. It'll go down at the desired rate, just a tad over a thousand feet a minute. I'll just keep pulling that power back so the airspeed doesn't go any higher. And now pull it back some more so it goes down a little to a number that's more readily managed. And here's where the fuel saving comes in. Right, so let's just get it. Yeah, it's scrolling down. Most of you may already know that a crossing restriction, such as descent, descent and maintain, or cross Sargo at maintain 14,000, implies that clearance limit implies pilot's discretion. So that gives us the authority to wait to begin the descent. Center 574, Mike Alpha vacating. Uh, uh, two, uh, one, zero. November 574, Mike Alpha, Andy, Center Roger. I forgot to tell you that that call is, uh, a required call, or, uh, the call that you should make when you're complying with a, a PD clearance. So if you hadn't started down, you want to tell him so he doesn't get, um, uh, confused or forget that he gave you the PD. Dick Ronchford, fly safely. Train off it. Indeed, we get 4537, 7,000, climbing 10,000.